Good morning. It is Sunday morning. You might have noticed that I didn't have a project for this week. Very much like I didn't have one for last week. Uh, last, I kind of took last week off because I had a lot of stuff going on here that I was trying to get uh, taken care of. And uh, this week I started working on something bigger, which won't be done. Maybe it'll be done next weekend. I don't know. We'll see. All right, but this is my next Maker's Mob project as well. It's fairly big, fairly complex, interesting project, I think. Okay, so making this video kind of as a response to the, the one I posted, was it yesterday or the day before? It must have been yesterday. I can't remember. Day before, maybe? I don't know. One day blends into the next on the table saw breaking. Okay. Now I made that and I showed that and um, like I don't have to do that stuff you know I don't have to show that stuff I can pretend that everything in my world you know is aces everything works nothing goes wrong but I, cho I chose to do that because I thought it would be interesting to show where something can go wrong right and something that you didn't expect and not unexpected, I fully expected this. As soon as I posted, I started getting comments about Acme Threaded Rod. And I don't know how many times I've addressed this in the past. Everything from this, except the, the reason why they were saying to use it here was to get more height out of each turn. You know, you'll, you'll widen up the blade faster. Like people got no time for winding up the blade or <laughs> lowering the blade. It has to be done fast. You know, they're in a hurry. They got to get this done. And you know what? They are because, you know, they're not doing this full time. They got lives to live. So they want to get on with it. But still in all, it doesn't take that long. I didn't see it as an issue. Not an issue worth uh, causing, like, causing the design to be more expensive or more difficult to do. And that's what it is when you involve some specialty part. This is my philosophy and it's been this way from day one. I avoid specialty parts as much as possible. Now, if you could go to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever else, like up here in Canada, we got Rona and Home Hardware. Not trying to leave anyone out, with, you know, when I'm doing my advertising here. If you could go to these places and buy uh, Acme Threaded Rod off the shelf, and that was like universal throughout the world, then I wouldn't hesitate. It'd be in all my designs, clamps, everything, okay? Including the table saw. But that's not the case, okay? You can't do that. So, like if I were building it for myself, just for myself, I would, think about special ordering it, okay? But that's not the point either. I, you, you can't, like in this instance, the threaded rod that I use failed. It stripped out, okay? The nut stripped and the rod stripped as well. But you don't know that <laughs> until it happens. I got my router lift down here. You can probably see just a bit of it down there. That has the same basic arrangement, except that uses a 3 8 inch threaded rod. This is where I'm getting my experience from. All right, I designed that thing many years ago, and this is the latest build of it, but I had one that was in a table saw for, I don't know, five years, and it never came close to failing. And that used the same thing, regular, threaded abroad, and that was threaded into a T-nut. So even less engagement, I think. Although I don't know, because see, the thing about these nuts is you can get some that are, are fairly snug, all right? And then you can get others that are really slack. You see that? And not only are they really slack, the, um, the tips of the teeth, like the tips of the threads, are actually flat on the inside of this. 
It's almost like these aren't cut, but formed with a, like made hot and then a thing runs through it just to form the thread. Because it's almost kind of peaked up there. Because like where this is sharp on the tip, this is not. So <clears throat> I've got another one here that appears to be different. I'll put that one on. And immediately I can see that this is tighter. <laughs> okay, so there's some variability in the nuts that you get. And uh, that, I mean, if it's too slack to begin with, see this one has the same thing as flat on the tip, but not as flat. This is noticeably flat. So one way of getting around that is to flatten the nut slightly. Okay, so you put it on the rod, like so. You see that it's, it's wobbling around like that. You take it, you put it on your anvil or something hard, concrete maybe. Whack it a time, check the fit, whack it again. And it ovals it, yes, but it increases the engagement on the top and the bottom. And that should uh, reduce the chance of it wearing out. Like, if I'm doing a redesign on this next year, I won't use half-inch threaded rod. I'll upsize it to 5 eighths. 5 eighths is the biggest you can get commonly, at least locally. I've gotten 3 quarters, but I had to go to an automotive supply place to get that. So I want to stick with something that's commonly available. You go to any hardware store around here anyway, you can get 5 eighths inch threaded rod. That's significantly bigger. Uh, the tooth pitch on that is 11, I think, 5 8 11. This is 13, so it's a little coarser. And I would upsize it to, okay, coupling nuts. A lot of people, somebody even explained to me what a coupling nut is. Like, there's even a possibility I could not know what a coupling nut is. <sighs> anyway, so coupling nuts. There's two types that I've seen. And the type... There's the type with the thread that goes all the way through, and that would be good. And then there's the type that has tapered threads towards the middle, so that when you screw the rods in, like it tightens up the deeper it gets in. And that's the idea. It's almost like plumbing taper. Uh, you know, the tighter you make it, the more of a seal it makes. Whereas this is, you just screw the rod in from both ends, and then it starts to slow, like it starts to get tighter as it gets, reaches the middle. Okay, so that's not a suitable coupling nut. You'd have to actually test that in the store before you buy it, right? So coupling nuts, I wouldn't bother with that. I would need just stack two, two nuts. Drill the counterbore where they fit in twice as deep and then use the threaded rod itself to make sure that you have like them lined up properly so that the rod still turns and glue them in with epoxy and that will be fine. I think that what I did here by adding the second nut and then actually lubricating the rod will last a good long time, okay? Because that's the other thing, when you, when you operate this, you can feel it kind of grinding there, it's gritty, okay? Now, after a while, that's going to disappear. It's going to smooth out. That's what happens, right? But some, in the meantime, some wear is happening. I don't think that that's what did it, though. I think it's the actual geometry of the, the teeth on the nut, how they're fat, uh, flat on the top, and they just, you know, they just um, cut off the tips of the rod. Like, the, this is very soft metal, right? So yeah, that's the reason why I don't use Acme threaded rod and the reason why I won't include it in any of my designs that I'm going to make plans for. It's just not, uh, it's a specialty item and I don't want to use any specialty items. It's like very much like, like, you know, I don't use like special bolts or anything like that or special belts or special pulleys. You know, you can get these multi-V pulleys and multi-V belts, you won't see any of that stuff. I want to stick with stuff that everybody can get. I'm not going to produce a plan that has some specialty item in there. Even something that's, okay, Acme started a few years ago was more difficult to get. It's fairly 
more common today, but it's still something that most people will have to special order and not go to the local place to pick up. She moved to a small town where the rule of law still exists. You will not survive here. You're not a wolf. And this is the land of wolves now. 